You'll find vintage machines of all shapes and sizes at Window Kelch's place in Bethel, Ohio, but none may be as rare as this 1949 Shepard SD1. Of the almost 2,000 Shepard tractors produced, only 14 were the SD1 model, and this is one of only three known to survive. First, we know um, there was three left of the production model. Um, I have one, George Shaft has one, and Peter Shepard in Pennsylvania has one. There may be another Shepard or two out there. A lot of our Shepard collectors have shook the trees really hard, and so far we haven't shook one loose. The Shepard Company first got involved with tractors by producing a three-cylinder diesel engine that farmers could use to repower a farm all M. It wasn't very successful, but did lead to the company producing its own line of tractors, including the SD-1. Weighing around 1,100 pounds, this tractor was equipped with a single-cylinder diesel engine that was designed to pull a one-bottom plow. They had these little single-cylinder diesel engines, and they thought maybe they could put them in a garden tractor and maybe go into the garden tractor or the truck farming market. The diesel engine had higher power compression and temperature issues, so they had the oil cooler. And it was, it was air cooled, of course, and the air comes through the fins. And when it exits the fins, it goes in the oil cooler. It helps keep the oil cool. That's probably, instead of having liquid cooled, the oil acts as liquid to keep the temperature down in the engine. And it's a three-speed transmission. It's a, um, the same transmission that was in a Crosley car, which is kind of nice. But you can look at the dash, it's just a piece of steel with three gauges stuck in it. And of course, I was being diesel, it needed two batteries to fire the diesel. They didn't spend much time putting the hood or anything on it. They just put the engine on and went. So it, it wasn't meant to be pretty. It's going for a small farmer that, that, you know, for truck patches and things like that. That's what they were marketed to. And it's obviously they didn't go over very well. The Shepard Company stopped making diesel tractors in 1956 after only six years of production. Although the SD-1 was well designed and performed adequately for a lightweight tractor, the relatively high price tag of $1,095 no doubt contributed to its early demise. For $1,000, if I was a farmer, I'd rather have an 8N Ford for $800 than with a Shepard for $1,000, you know. And the diesel fuel back then wasn't near as good a quality as we have now, so you had a lot of filtration problems and problems running. When they started working on them and they realized the expense of the engines and the injector pumps and everything, and it wasn't long until they got parked in the fence row and they went back to, the, went back to their conventional gas tractors. Wendell got his SD-1 in an auction. It was in pretty good shape except for one problem. The previous owner left the machine full of sand. He liked to paint everything the fast way, so everything he had at the sale was all sandblasted and painted. And so my poor little SD-1 was clear full of sand from one end to the other. So when I got home, there was, the air cleaner was actually full of sand. So I had to tear it completely down and gut it and wash all the sand out of it and go back with all new bearings, gaskets, and seals and put it back together. Other than that, he's still got the original tires, the original uh, rims on the front and the back, everything on it's all original. In addition to the SD-1, Wendell has an SD-2, SD-3, SD-4, and a Farmall M with the Shepard Diesel Conversion Kit. Wendell is a fan of rare and unique machines, and his 1917 Titan 3060, 1915 IH Mogul, and 1908 IHC Friction Drive have all been featured on the Classic Farm Tractors calendar. Wendell is a mechanic by trade and says getting these tractors up and running again is his favorite part of the hobby. We do what we, we all do what we enjoy, and this is what I enjoy. I happen to be very lucky where I re repair and restore antique farm machinery as for a living and also collect antique farm machinery as a hobby. So for me, it's hard to see where my hobby stops and my job starts. I must have classic tractor fever because that's my wife tells me when when she goes to sleep at night, that's the last thing she hears is tractors as she goes to sleep at night. When she wakes up in the morning, that's the first thing she hears is tractors. So she, 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 evidently, that's, that's all I talk about. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. You can also find even more videos and branded merchandise on our website, ClassicTractorsTV.com.